Hello, everybody. My name is Mattman. <laughs> This is the death dice. This is what it does. Boom. It, it evaporates your entire life and hope. It's gone forever. Anything in this treasure room? A telekinesis. We're going to evaporate that one as well. So the death dice seems OP in concept when you just look at it, right? I mean, it's a death certificate wrapped around an entire D6. Let's be real. However, there's actually a lot of risk rewards to this item. It is a 5% chance to turn the item into death certificate and a 95% chance to say bye bye. So I figured it'd be really fun to have have an entire run dedicated to this guy and try and use it as much as possible. I don't think I'm going to use it every single pedestal because I am going to need some form of item to help me along. However, something like telekinesis is not it, so I will 100% risk the death dice on that guy. The way I see it is the best things we should be looking for are probably alternate floor treasure rooms because those have two pedestals, right? So a higher chance of landing ourselves a death certificate. Shops as well and also deals, so I'll probably go to the devil deal first. Since what matters most is the fact that I just see items so I can burn my uh, death dice charges. Ovum is done for. Do we want pearls? I kinda don't. However, I don't know if I really have a battery anywhere. So I don't know if I even really have a choice. <laughs> and pearls aren't bad. I mean, a soul heart's really good, right? How about I check the curse room? Will death dice chance the telekinesis and take the pearls? Boom. Hey, wonderful. Do it. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Hold on. <laughs> I just realized the, the biggest threat on earth was a glowing firefly. Boom, death certificate. Could you imagine the amount of luck if I managed to get that from the D6 or telekinesis? <laughs> and then we'll take you and then we'll leave. Oh my lord, there's free money on the ground. Okay, treasure room above us is pretty interesting. This is important, right? Because I need some form of damage immediately if I want to continue this run. You can definitely handle this area, but it's going to take a lot of finagling. So finagle, we shall. What? Excuse me? <laughs> Does it usually do that? I Wait, what? I don't know. That seemed really sudden. I'm used to like smoke showing up or something. Bro just spawned in frame one. Hello, I am a part of the world. Okay, dude, I don't know what's up with what's going on. <laughs> Things are just not right. What's happening here? Three black flies as a single room? I don't think I've ever seen that. The, the energy's weird. What's going on? You know why? I know exactly why. It's because this is actually the third time I've recorded this, and I'm not even kidding. Twice in a row, my power went kaput out. It's gone. Don't know where. The first time was actually kind of interesting because it, it turned out I was actually not recording my audio whatsoever. So, uh, <laughs> I can't. Thank you, I guess. Biblical god, dogma, whoever you are in the world. Uh, the second time, though, 100%. Like, they were just trolling me. I'm certain of it. We got massive risk reward incoming. A basic stats up? My god, what are you doing to me? Ooh. Here's the thing. In the spirit of death dice, I think these are all okay. In fact, Rotten Baby would probably carry me. But, oh no! It had the highest use, I don't know. I I, I had to. Luck up, please just don't be like a tears down. Balls. Oh no! All right, now we have to engage and really think hard because if we do not, we are boned. <laughs> you should have seen my other runs. I swear to God, they were popping off. The forces of Isaac were not happy. They wanted a bit of a challenge. Okay, I understand. You guys know how to beatbox? Beatboxing is so cool. I think anyone that can beatbox is like highly talented. In my in my eyes, they're like actually gods. So you know, and like verbal ace is like the god among gods for me. Let's not waste a charge. We have 11 bombs for combat, just in case. I'm feeling pretty confident. Min Min should explode. Okay, at this point, I just need some form of stats. Thank you! And an angel? Ooh, relic. Okay, relic is kind of the sustain I need. How about we uh, we play it fair here. We take relic, which is super strong, but we roll this key piece, or I guess death dice it. More often than not, we're probably just gonna delete it. But you know, we, we will death dice this guy and hope for the best. Wow. That was actually a really scary fight. I think that took actually like three in-game real minutes. Thank God the fruits of my labor will finally be rewarded. Boom. God damn it! We have a curse room below us, and we can probably get that for free with the mantle, right? We just need to make sure we do not get hit while in there. Otherwise, it is GG's. We try it. We play it well. Uh, not making any risks here, right? Let's just blow this up, see what we get. Curse of the tower. That just seems like a free death dice roll to me. And there's the keys that I need. Thank you very much. Saw a comment recently saying that I sounded like the guy from 2B2T. 
I know I so nonchalantly said that, but I don't know. I just thought it was like the funniest thing. Like, fit MC. Can I survive the oldest anarchy server in Isaac? I love that guy's videos, dude. So being compared to him, you know what? I'll take it. Thank you. Balls. Double balls, actually. Quadruple if you really think about it. But don't think about it too hard. That's weird. Let's see what we got cooking in here. Oh, this is just a death dive. Let's be real. Oh, 100%. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything. But I can rest easy knowing I made 100% the correct choice there, right? Okay, we're really, really extra, 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 read all about it. Hoping for a good item. Oh, I actually feel like it's better for me to death dice this and take the curse. Is that weird? No, it's not. It's actually the best decision, but man, HP, that sucks. Oh, well, let's go. Wait, hold on. Small rock? No, but there was going to be one in the mirror dimension. I got to double check that. Just for clarity's sake, right? Okay, yeah, I thought so. Well, it's gonna be a rough one, but I think we can do it. At least at the, you know, at the very, very least, we have Relic and a gargantuan amount of health, right? So we can maybe face tank our way through these next couple of floors, but afterwards, I sure hope we have something extra to work with. It's gonna happen today. This is the day. Oh, man. Something about the idea of getting that magic mushroom in that standalone- Hey, it's a halo! In that standalone room from that one mushroom in the transfer from downport to mines, it's just like, I need it, I don't know. Like, getting magic mushroom in that room is something different. It is something else. Alright, so things should start popping off for us right now, right? We're gonna have a maximum amount of hearts, no more holy mantles, so I don't have to be scared. And our damage is actually okay, especially with Halo kind of uh, topping us off here. Oh, three red chests? Absolutely. Okay, that's not very cool of you. <laughs> You know, I, usually I see a little bit of a variety in my chest. Sometimes I see like, oh, you know, oh, wow, blue spiders, a red spiders, maybe even a, a soul heart here and there. Not nah, all troll bombs, cope, idiot. All right, well, no wasting death dies here. Unfortunately, we have not been very lucky with it. Or I guess we've been averagely lucky so far, right? With how much I've been using it. But I want to be mega lucky. I just want the random death certificate. Gimme, gimme. It's got to happen at some point, right? Little did he know he'd be in for the most painful run of his entire life. <laughs> Big moment of truth. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna kill you. I'm, I could try bombing you. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> uh, big moment of truth. Do we want to take this or death dice it? Of course we're gonna death dice it. And I'm leaving because I'm just assuming it's not coming back. Let's be real. The moment I do get a death certificate, I I'm almost certain the game would be gaslighting me and it's not actually real. And it's just trying to like pull like a joke on me. So let's not do that. I would just leave it behind. <laughs> Ooh, a recharge on my death dice? Do not mind if I do. I'd like to use it in this shop, right? Red stew. Oh, wow, that would be so good, though. But that's also going to make it a little too easy, I think, right? Red stew's kind of busted. Let's be real. Instead, I'll take a bajillion different stat downs. Oh, my God. Oh, come on! And we're going to try death dicing it, just for fun. Please. Oh, that would have been legendary. You know, I always say it every single day, you learn something new in The Binding of Isaac if you play it enough, right? And that actually does not, not apply today, I, aka it applies today. But so far, not with everything that's happened, but in a previous run, you know, I, I kept telling you guys that this is like the third time doing this. In a previous run, I went to a devil deal in order to try and death dice the both items that would show up, right? And one of them was, uh, we need to go deeper. What I ended up doing is buying we need to go deeper and the other item, Le Megaton. Using Le Megaton and getting Spirit of the Night, and then the other item we need to go deeper I used to create a crawl space and then in my mind I'm like okay I'll check the crawl space and then I'll death dice both of them right perfect that's efficient I walk out the crawl space guess what it teleports you out of the devil deal what what in the hoo-ha I'm sure you guys knew that one but like I don't know for me it was the first time learning of it so you know oh my god yes thank you all right what do we want to take I don't want to take the ultimate free win item because you know that would be kind of boring AKA glitched crown. So I'll take something that can save my damage, but I still need to try. And it's an absolute classic. I didn't even need to see that it was death certificate, right? I mean, the fact that it didn't delete was all I needed to know. We are finally back in one-shotting Spider City. You'll love to see it. I wonder how many times I used the death dice until that happened. I feel like it wasn't, well, it's a 5% chance, right? So I, I know it's literally not how math works, but let's just say for averages, I'd say you would get it once every 20 uses of death dice, right? So how many times did I use it? Was I close to 20? I don't think so. I feel like I got a little lucky, maybe a little ahead of the curve, right? Now we can still absolutely lose. Do not get me wrong. But I have been playing like a bit of a nutcase, so I don't know, we'll see. These 
monsters have nothing on me and my Sacred Heart Gaming. If anything, I'm about to spawn another Death to Give you. Can you imagine? My god, wait a second. I just pressed spacebar right now, land another one. Oh my goodness. It's gonna happen. Wow. I want to take the tears up. Okay, next time, next time, next time, next time. What about in here? Eden Soul. I literally can't use that. So we'll do this. Should I grab one of these key pieces and death dice it? Or should I death dice? I think I'm gonna death dice because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land any more angels or enough rather, right, to fight Mega Satan. So let's just do this. <gasps> no way! What? <laughs> what? What is the? Uh, excuse me? I'm doing it. We're taking you. 100%. I'm taking all the multipliers. Today is multiplier day. What? Oh, interesting. Wait, what? Interesting. I did not know. You know what? I learned two things about Isaac today. If you have multiple death certificates, that room where you take the items and delete, it won't apply for the entire death certificate floor. It'll just apply for that room. Isaac knowledge added, GG. You know what? I do think that's actually the case. So I'm going to do something I never do for death certificate just so I can say that I've done it before and take C-section. There's a lot of items I've never taken with specifically death certificate before. And one day I will have them all filled out like a Pokedex. That one baby is going to go far, dude. <laughs> float into space with that kind of power. I was gonna mention like, hey, don't worry, we could probably get another death certificate, but landing two? My goodness, I'll actually take this. I was considering, but I, I won't take that much of a risk. I would like to maximize my speed first, right? The fact that we managed to get two more on the two pedestals in the same room, that I, it's unbelievable. Genuinely, I actually do not know the calculations for that. Three in a row, right? Or no. Yeah, well, that was three in a row because I skipped Squeezy. Three in a row? <laughs> Undeniable luck from that one, what the hell? All my past other recordings do not matter because those ones did not even get a single death certificate until I uh, crashed, right? I I every one of those made it to around Ash Pit before the whole power situation kind of went kaput, right? The Isaac gods were actually directing me to this run specifically, right? It all makes sense now, I understand. Thank you very much. Dude, look at the tick on that one C-section. And he has massive range too. Bro's floating for a hot minute. 12 is nothing to scoff at. What? <laughs> he can't just be that nice to me. I mean, thank you, but what? Is this the slowest, like, time machine beggar I've ever seen? What? <laughs> this guy works normally. He's going fast. What about you, devil beggar? You just don't want to? Oh, now you work. That was weird. Uh, I'm gonna death dice that, actually. I think a speed up is useless because I maximized earlier. It could be spun, but it'd be only one of three. And the hype I would receive if I turned that into a blank piece of paper stating my name and the fact that I died, which I just tried right now, but I don't even have charges. What a bozo. Would be immense. Tr tremendous, really. Oh my god, the setup was there and everything. Mom, you have no idea what I've been cooking up recently. I managed to get like three death certificates in a row. It was nasty. We take those negative and we go... Alright, high deal chance. Still so many soul hearts, which is incredible, right? We're gonna need these to make sure we maximize our deals, therefore we maximize our dice. You know, if you really look to my right, I actually do not have a lot of items, do I? Just barely over like 12. And that's because we've been deleting everything we come across. But so far, despite that, we've been playing really well, really solid. I've been having a great time, and it's actually really fun playing with this uh, risk-reward type dice, right? One single toddler takes you down, what are you doing? <laughs> Floating baby child walks up and slaps your mother. What do you do in this situation? <laughs> I mean, me personally? Dude, that's a floating baby child. I don't know what that guy's powers are. He's basically telekinetic for all I know. <laughs> Get me out of there. Justice. Oh, I can take this. This isn't bad, actually. If anything, it could just be a bunch of items uh, that are death diceable, right? I'm gonna bomb this poop to make a bridge come over in this direction. And then pay this guy out. Just so I could press spacebar on whatever he's gonna give me. Boom, there you go, it's gone. Uh, we already went to the moon, aka the secret room. Wow, that's bars actually. <laughs> so we'll just move on. Guys, I have to admit it, I have to come clean, I don't know how else to say it. I think I have to be truthful with myself and realize that it's Binding of Isaac time. Thanks for the s- ah! Thank you very much! I actually did end up getting another angel, right? But at this point, there's absolutely no way. I, I guess I should take at least one key piece just in case, right? You never know. Scarred Womb always terrified me, now that I think about it. This may be Mandela Effect moment, but I have to voice my opinion here. Was Scarred Womb not added way after Afterbirth Plus? <laughs> I don't know why, but I have this vague memory of it not being in the game when Afterbirth Plus came out. 
Like, I remember Afterbirth Plus being bare bones, dude. I, even I and Isaac Stan can admit that. I mean, there are L's out there for sure. I might have been making that up. I'm, I'm gonna double check, but I swear, Scarred Womb came, like, later for some reason. And then when I first saw it, I was like, EW! Because <laughs> who wouldn't be like, EW? But, you know, again, that's all, like, Binding of Isaac, and then eventually you just get used to it. Ooh, nice. Free damage up, thank you. Or maybe the thing I'm thinking about, rather, is the fact that, uh, same with Dank Depths before it got an update, the Scarred Womb really didn't have a lot of personality. I'm pretty sure those guys that just, like, burst open into those clumps didn't even exist. But I could, again, just be making it up in my mind. It lives. Uh, no you goddamn don't. Not against my fetuses. Devil Room here. Mark and Lil Delirium. The choice is obvious is here. No death certificate for that time, that's okay. Let's go down to Shoal. Double check my secret rooms, nothing there. Okay, let's begin. Dark ones are gonna be easy to fight. So far, the build is super immaculately powerful, right? So I want to continue finding these luck up pills because they've been force feeding me, honestly, like genuinely. <laughs> I, I just cannot stop taking these things. And with those, I should be able to get a good dark room going. That couple of contract from below will give us a ton of extra items, which will be quite exciting. Check, check. Nothing in here. What about also in here? I can't be bothered. Oh my god. Ah! Part of me really wanted to Matrix dodge that because I would have felt like so good, dude. I would have felt like an actual I'm him moment. But unfortunately, it was taken away and I have skill issue. But that feeling, that one tiny fleeting feeling that we constantly chase to know that we feel like we are them. That's what we live for. Keep going, ladies and gentlemen. I know you can do it. Oh, hey, solo Lilith. He bum. Uh, he's actually really good considering we're going to go to the dark room, right? So I uh, absolutely thank you. No trinket. Well, that sounds perfect for me, right? We'll actually take this 100%. Ooh, wow. Nice. What the hell? Double tears up? I actually need tears up, so I am going to take these. Super duper mega lucky. What? Thank you. I can now shoot once every not half a millennia, right? It's sick. Sorry, just uh, activating my baby boomer cosplay. Sorry, my bad. All right, let's see what the dark room has in store for us. What are you selling, Mr. Dark Room? Uh, Steven's okay. Sagittarius. These are all decent. I guess I should have dropped the Gilded Key, right? I didn't realize it would give me treasure room items, even though I know that. My bad. Uh, despite that, again, no matter what it would have really given me, I would have just death diced it anyway. Wow, unlucky! I mean, I guess not really unlucky. That was to be expected. But still, that sucks. Oh well. But it's okay, because we have just a bunch happening. Monstro is huge, dude. Except it doesn't work. What? I Wait, what? Really? C-section monstro doesn't work? I didn't know that. Well, my fault for taking it. Synergy check, knowledge by me. My fault, ladies and gentlemen. I will forever store this in my databanks, don't worry. I will never make this mistake again, I promise you. Ooh, Tech Zero and Polydactyly? Okay, see, now good stuff is spawning, thanks, Sacred Orb. He would then proceed to get exactly C-Section and Monstro's Lung on the next run. C-Section Tech Zero needs no introduction, right? I mean, it's basically just a double times amount of damage that you're gonna be doing. For some reason, it just scales as if the Tech Zero is constantly hitting them. Even though it isn't, it's just the C-Section. It always seems to, like, just say, like, oh, yeah, the Tech Zero is hitting them right now. You're doing an absurd amount of damage, even though I clearly am not. <laughs> But hey, I'll take it. Freebie, thank you. Death dice? Nah. I'd like to get at least one more. I think that would be sick. Managing four? Even managing three, though. Like, what we have accomplished has been insane. So many different beautiful types of chests. Knockout drops. Those are both really good items. But they're not going to change my run significantly. So I think I death dice here. Uh, same goes for these two, right? I'm actually out of keys, finally. So for the first time ever, I'm actually going to drop the gilded key. I guess I didn't even need to be running it in the first place. Boom, nothing? That's okay. Funnily enough, the moment I dropped the Gilded Key, it seems though, as though I have not respawned a single extra chest, even though I was going crazy earlier. Hey, double gold heart is rare. What happened to that baby? He, I don't know, he just wanted to leave, I guess. Explore the boundless amount of space that there is. I, I mean, I understand. That's kind of what we all generally want. It's incredible out there, but what the hell? Bro flew at mock speed out of here. He did not want to be in this run. <laughs> 
Well, that's everything. And in fact, I uh, managed to perfectly time my keys. So, uh, what do you do? I don't want to know. You're not going to do any. Oh! oh my god, it was so worth it to roll. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you always take risks, right? Because of moments like these that you work for, that you grind for. This is exactly what I was talking about. Let's go demolish this lamb fellow. Goodbye, bozo. You never stood a chance. Do I fight delirium today is a big question. Uh, the answer is no. Incredible dice, super fun, risk reward, GG. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!